Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everyone. Wanted to take the time to uh, kind of close out the year and uh, take the time to just be grateful. Um, our year, our family uh, had a tough year. We uh, lost Sherry's father. We discovered the world of caregiving uh, was not not easy, not easy. And so there's been a lot of growth in our family, kind of realizing that our time is short, uh, things can change, and you really discover what people are all about when you have a crisis in a family. Uh, I have to take the time to um, salute my children. We're uh, outstanding this year. Uh, some of the things they did to help support what we went through and their uh, grandparents went through was over the top. Um, we saw uh, our children uh, step up and it was amazing. So I salute Tracy and Robert, um, which is my son and my daughter, and they did great. Um, one of the things I've learned is uh, uh, if you're getting up in an older age, um, you need to realize uh, how much you can impact other people's lives if you do not prepare, which means wills and stuff like that. And uh, uh, what if you have to be, uh, have you talked to your kids and said, here's some scenarios that could happen. Are you willing? Are you not willing? And talk about those really uh, sensitive subjects. Not always that much fun. But uh, that's all I want to say about that. It's a little depressing at the same time. It's actually uh, made me very proud of our family. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you is just be grateful uh, about all the things we've had going on this year that I want to thank you for supporting. Um, Good Talk Radio's doing great. Uh, our little shows we're doing, Easy Street, some of uh, uh, our little uh, Ranger Rob Rednecks Rule the World show and things like that. I want to thank you guys for the support and the fun we've had with that. We'll continue doing it. Uh, get a chance. Check out Good Talk Radio. Uh, it's going going strong, going well. Very proud of it. Some great shows on that. <laughs> and they're so uh, hard to keep up. There's a lot of work behind the scenes you guys don't see all the time. And so... Uh, um, every morning we have to load people's shows on all the people that submit shows to us uh, that doesn't happen magically and then the next thing I wanted to uh, <laughs> definitely thank you for is the support of the Ranger Rob poopy bags um, you know when Christmas comes don't forget to pick up your fanny pack and, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you can carry your poopy bags everywhere you go and uh anyway i want to thank uh this has been a great year uh the range of all poopy bags are doing great uh a lot of people seem to like the new ones on rolls they come in rolls now and sheets the cool part about those is they're both the same size so uh, we made sure that the uh, uh bags didn't weren't smaller to get into those little tiny little dis uh, uh distributors and we got the fabric um fabric one and uh uh, they're great bags and you guys will love them. And if you like them on rolls, they go in purses really well in your pocket. They go in the little dispenser we have, whatever you like, but you can find them all on Amazon. And, uh, we, uh, I think we have a couple coupons on the new rolls to get people to try them. And, uh, we thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, that was a family, uh, if people don't know the uh, history behind the Ranger Rob poopy bags is uh, uh, I used to travel a lot. Um, that's why you see me do a lot of RV shows and stuff. And we also have RV talk radio and uh, we kind of took a break from that this year towards the end of the year. We'll get it going again. Um, and uh, just notice a lot of people aren't picking up after their pets. I noticed that when you get free bags, which are nice and we appreciate the organizations that leave free bags for people to use um they're just not that good 
And so we wanted to develop a lightweight but heavy duty strong bag that was big, larger and deeper, has handles. I love the handles because when you're done you, you, and you reverse the bag out, uh, what's really cool about it is, is the, the handles help you keep your hands away from the business and turn the bag inside out and then easily tie it into a knot. And sometimes if you're hiking or something like that, you may have to carry it a little bit and wanted to make that easy. And uh, so we're very proud of those bags, very happy with them. And they were all, uh, our motivation came from RV travel. And so uh, uh, we felt there was a need, uh, felt like there should be a good bag out there. And uh, we took care of that. And so that's what the Ranger Rob Poopy Bags are all about. And they're affordable. We compete with the best of them. So, uh, hey, thank you very much. Also this year, I've um, been very grateful for cooking. Uh, if you guys haven't just noticed, we have Cooking with Ranger Rob. And the purpose of that was to teach that old dogs can learn new tricks. <laughs> and uh, you don't get to see all the cooking that I've actually been doing this year. But, you know, you got to remember, I'm kind of a old, I came from an old fashioned leave it the beaver kind of family. And, you know, Sherry did all the cooking and all that stuff. And I needed to step up because I got to retire at 55. And I, obviously, you can see I still work. But uh, I had to learn to pull my weight at the household. So I started picking up the cooking. And I love, I've always loved smoking salmon and stuff and all that. But I bought a Traeger. So if you want to, the Traeger is, I think, is the coolest thing ever. We cook almost everything in our Traeger. And then I just added recently a Blackstone flat top. And uh, just just give you an idea, like I just made my first clam chowder, which most people go, duh, no big deal. Hey, make some, you make some clam chowder. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. If you're a guy like me, it's like old school, you better step up. <laughs> Times are changing. <laughs> and so, anyways, I made my first clam chowder, which was scrumptious. I made my first uh, chicken fettuccine. And it was to die for, and I'm making it again tonight. And uh, so eventually I make videos of some of these things. Uh, over Christmas, we cooked a turkey over the top. And we also made seven layer bars, which you'll see in the play roster below. But we also have another channel just for cooking with Ranger Rob. And uh, it's been a fun channel. And, uh, and the f interesting part is the history. It's someone, average Joe, like me, learning how to cook. And uh, so uh, really the trick to it to me was uh, go on YouTube, pick out what you want to make, let's say a chili, look at maybe four or five different versions of how people make their chili, and then uh, step up and then come up and um, be inventive a little bit and make your chili the way you want it to be. And you'll fail a few times. <laughs> at least you tried. So uh, what a year to be grateful. And I'm asking you guys, I know... A lot of people are going through a lot of stuff. I'll just say that. And uh, stuff happens. Uh, I think the secret to surviving it is being grateful, having faith. Um, I guess one of the other things I wanted to bring up is uh, I don't get super religious on people and stuff like this, but um, I do follow the news and I do follow what's going on in the East and stuff. And I, I get concerned about some stuff. And what I do is not kind of rant about it as I am is learn about it. So I, uh, I've always been Christian. And so what I really haven't done, and I still did need to do more, is I wanted to understand the history of the uh, Middle East. And so to do that, you need to read the Bible, <laughs> really, in the Old Testament, and hard read, let me tell you, hard read. And uh, so I did, uh, I actually did it with audio, uh, a little easier on my phone, and started learning the history of Israel. And what better place to find the history than go to the Bible itself and understand that history isn't just what's going on day to day there. It goes back thousands of years. And so... Uh, uh, I am so grateful that I'm learning to read and know what's in the Bible because it's really a human history book. It's amazing. And so without pushing, I'm not pushing religion on people and stuff, but 
if you think you're Christian, you're, you need to know that you need to read the Old Testament so you understand how we became this Gentile nation kind of thing. And, uh, and understand that we don't have to be perfect. And we're going to make mistakes. And you may have made some big mistakes in your life. And the thing is, someone stepped up and says, you know what? I know you're not perfect. We, uh, I'll sacrifice myself to my father. And I'll take your sins and say, bless these people. I'll die for their sins. And just live. And so it doesn't matter if you hear some of the stuff about what's good and bad. And uh, whether it's abortions or whether we're talking about being gay and all these things. Um, uh, one thing is for sure that um, God loves us all. And so the best thing is I don't like the word inclusion as I do. I like diversity, but understand that it's not us. We are here to judge people. We're here to live with people and, and look at the best of people. And if there's something that they're doing that's not right let some let god take care of that not you you be the best person ever and be happy and and put love in your heart and 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 we'll just leave it to that and be grateful for gosh when i wake up in the morning i have a roof over my head not everybody has that i have food i have a wonderful wife we've been married to going on believe it or not 40 years can you believe it um I have great kids. Um, no, I know that people have got stuff going on at family feuds or whatever and stuff. Hey, work it, work that problem or be understanding, but don't be hateful. Don't be spiteful. Just live your life and let them live theirs and hope that their lives are good. And, uh, anyway, that's kind of the message I wanted to put on this year was, is to be grateful for the wonderful things we all have. Um, and, I, um, I also mentioned in one of my shows is the politics is of this impeachment and all that stuff. All I ask is I want you to stand and I don't care whose shoes you stand in, but ask yourself if you're in legal trouble, wouldn't you want to make sure that you're supported with facts, not hearsay, not third party stuff. Um, I don't care what's happening and I'll use the word Trump. Sorry, but, uh, he's not my favorite guy, but I support him. And, uh, um, I don't wish this on any president. And, and the thing is, is it should be factual. It should be rock solid evidence. It should be all that, but the go on with hearsay and feelings and things like that. And when it comes to the law, when it comes to being judged, whether we're in court, things like that, uh, and you're and think if this was happening to you, you would want things to be fair. You want justice. You want facts. You want um, uh, evidence that's uh, true. And if you're convicted of something, it's going to be something that's very clear. If it's somebody making accusations, you imagine if everybody can make accusations and all this stuff ends up in court and you could actually be prosecuted on accusations and stuff, this be a terrible world. And so that all I ask people is move on. If we have a beef with whoever is in our leadership, do it through elections. And we'll be happy. Otherwise, this is too stressful. <laughs> so love each other. So guys, have a wonderful Christmas. Have a wonderful New Year. Um, work on your faith a little. Read the, the, read the Bible. I'll say that. Be grateful. Um, connect with those that you haven't connected with lately. That you feel maybe a little guilty about. Just find the way to do it. And uh, thank you for the support this year. And uh, I hope to hear you on our radio stations. Join us uh, with, uh, when we're making a range of our poopy bags. Um, the cooking. we got all kinds of stuff. And some adventures are coming up. Uh, it's been a hard year to be adventurous. Uh, stuff happens. <laughs> so, guys, thank you. And, guys, have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. Yes, I said it. Merry, Merry Christmas. In God we trust. All that good stuff. Until next time, bye. 
Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.